I love mum's dark hair. Yeah. When mum was diagnosed, I was quite shocked. And then mum made those. Yeah. The hedgehog cakes. Hedgehog cakes. And then she made a pram cake. I think you always think of your parents as strong and they look after you. That's how it's supposed to be. And then obviously when they get really old, then, it, you know, it's re reversed. But when you see your parent completely incapable and in incredible amounts of pain, it's horrible. So because my grandmother, one of her sisters and cousins. cousins have had breast cancer, the doctors think that there is a genetic link in our family. And there is Mum and Kirsty and Henry. That's pretty cute. I went to a geneticist who told me I had a one in three chance of getting breast cancer. I thought one in three were pretty poor odds. So I decided to have a preventative mastectomy uh, when I was 30, um, which was uh, the best decision I've made personally for me, because I am, I'm pretty much guaranteed 99.9% not to get breast cancer. I don't really have to worry about it. I still have to go for screenings you know, just in case. Having seen Sophie go through what she went through and having been in hospital with mum many, many times during different procedures, I am not ready to go into hospital. I felt that the impact on me mentally of that procedure, I mean, to be absolutely honest, I just thought it could send me right out of my tiny mind. The children are now convinced that cancer is this terrible death sentence. Because if anybody else in our family gets cancer, or if anybody they know gets cancer, they are going to be very, very anxious. Um, and they have asked questions about cancer. And it's wrong to allow another generation of people to go on being afraid of this word. It should be something that we fight against, um, but also it should be something that doesn't hold fear for anybody.